All right, welcome back to another episode. Um, again, just thank you for all the support, all the likes, all the subscribers, everything. Um, we're gonna uh, keep kicking out this uh, content as long as you keep uh, supporting. Um, so you see the uh, thumbnail, you see the title. Um, Amanda Seals uh, speaks on Kevin Samuels. Uh, there's like a few things that she said that really, really stuck out. I might end up doing like a part two or three or whatever to this. So just be looking forward to that. Um, let's just, let's start with uh, the one thing that she said about uh, America, the society being a, uh, a patriarchy. Um, her saying that America is a patriarchy um, and dismissing the interviewer, of which I think the interviewer is a homosexual black man. Uh, I don't know that that gives context to how he conceded her point, but nonetheless is what it is. Her affirming or saying that America is a patriarchy dismissing the idea that black America is a matriarchy and not actually a matriarchy but a gynocracy undermines the idea that two groups can be going through something different in the same society i.e. slavery just because black people were in slavery does not mean that white people were somehow going through the very same thing two things can be true at the same time now, I don't agree that American society is a patriarchy. I agree that it's a matriarchy at the at the least. But black society is surely a gynocracy. Based on the idea that women get the kids, based on the idea that there are no penalties for bad decisions made by black women, based on the idea that women are pushed into leadership positions, based on the idea that black fathers are purposely taken out of the kids lives this only speaks to there being a gynocracy where you put the women over the men what they want is they want because they like because I, I, I have this idea and it's like women love patriarchy they just don't like their position in it <laughs> you know our women specifically like they like the idea of a patriarchy they like the idea of strong men they just want to be on top of it, which then makes it a gynocracy, whereas you have the women over the men. And her dismiss, her being so dismissive of that is really more of the problem. Like she's more of an avatar for most women than you would think. Because she in and, and, and what she does, like she's not very intelligent. Let's start there. She's not very intelligent. She telegraphs everything that she's gonna say and really telegraphs it in a way to where you already know her point. You know what I'm saying? And her point, generally speaking, is men are bad, women are good. I mean, black women have been through, you know, more and we've done more for this country than anybody, you know, that kind of deal. Um, so you, she telegraphs most of her points in the sense that you never have to wonder what she's gonna say next. It's typically the very same thing. And what she does is she hides it behind a bunch of facial expressions every now and again using big, you know, $5 words or whatever. And it's all a bunch of nothing. America, you know, I don't know if it's a patriarchy or not. I really don't think so. But I can almost tell you that we are simultaneously experiencing whatever America is, whatever you want to call America, we are simultaneously experiencing a gynocracy in the black community. The boys have all but been feminized. You have to fight to make your boys be masculine. I got to send my boys to school where it's nothing but women. And I have to toughen them. I have to punch them in the chest damn near. I got to make them run three miles. I got to make them do push-ups. I got to make them do... I got to get them off the TV. I got to I gotta fight for my sons. And that's not just anecdotal. That's every man who has a son. I have to encourage them to, I have to make them know that their masculinity is not defined by a woman. Their masculinity is defined by their ability to produce in this world. 
their ability to command respect, their their ability to be a, to be a good follower, good leader, a good shepherd. Their ability to exist out in this world is that's that's what it is. Not how you treat a woman, a real man. I man, I I swear. This is at the very best black society, a matriarchy at worst and in reality, an actual gynocracy. We have not experienced anything else and it's been that for a very long time. You can never experience women outwardly saying hateful things about men for 50 years and tell me that this is anything but that. And you even have men parroting these nonsensical ideologies about black men. Black men need to take care of their kids. Man, we the most involved fathers that you got. And most of us ain't even fathers. Black men need to stay out of jail. 34% decline in prison population since 2006. And they putting us in prison for nothing. Black women are the least protected. You had the uh, Central Park Five be put in prison like they were grown men for some shit that they didn't do. Black boys are the least protected. But they don't even give a fuck. Black boys have it worse than any sector of America, especially black America, ain't even close. This is not a patriarchal culture. This is a gynocentric culture. And she is utterly, I mean, like, it's hard to even entertain her because she's one of those women who, again, she's the tip. Like, if you could... I'm a PhD, transpose her, you know, look look up that saying, she would be the quintessential, like, avatar for that. She's the, she's the, I'm a PhD. 40 plus, single, no kids. I think she, I mean, I think she got, like, a master's degree or something from Columbia, you know what I mean? But it's in, like, African American studies, like, some useless shit that nobody, like, she wouldn't be able to... I mean, and look, man, she's not, and she's not terrible looking. She's all right looking girl. She's a cute girl. You know what I'm saying? A cute woman. She's around my age. She's, she's all right. You know what I mean? But damn, her personality and attitude is just disgusting. She is the, like, if I could transport, if I could put her, if I could look up the, I am a PhD, if I could look up the, the woman that, that, that Sir Kevin Samuels was talking about every time, it would be her. I never heard her speak about this man until he was passed. The cowardice, the level of cowardice is just, it's, it's unmatched by some women. And, and they get, like I say, they get to hide behind the idea that they're a woman, you know? That man had smoke shows. That man had so many opportunities for you to speak to him and they speak about him in depth. That's disgusting. But however it goes, I'm going to end this one right here. Uh, I'll probably do a part two, three, because I got a, a couple other points uh, that she really, really, uh, she just jacked up. Um, I'm going to uh, post this one, try to post this one as soon as possible. Um, again, thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for all the, the, the comments and just anything. Uh, any love is always accepted. Uh, this is Mike Perkins. I'm out.